Hello, welcome to another video. Today we're going to take a quick look at Linux Lite 4.8. So it's just installed. Um, I've changed the wallpaper. The default one's a bit... Uh, I'm not a massive fan. But this one here that they've got included is quite nice that I like. Nice and minimal, so that will do. Right, so you've got your panel at the bottom. So it's an XFCE desktop environment. You have your panel at the bottom and you've got some icons on your desktop. And then you've got a workspace switcher here just to switch to your different workspaces your clock and then you sort of your running programs and indicators for sound and things like that you got a couple of quick launches here for a sort of applications that are pinned there so that's your file manager which will be funar funar 1.6.15 let's just minimize this and we'll have a look at what applications it comes installed with so let's start bottom up so it comes with LibreOffice suite libra presentation and the excel the spreadsheets in multimedia it comes with vlc media player um, I installed OBS, CD Burner and Volume Control. In Internet you get Firefox, Network Connection Support and Thunderbird Mail for your email client. Comes with GIMP installed out of the box, that's nice. Image Viewer and Scanner. In Accessories we have... So I've installed DocBarX, we'll get into that in a moment. In Accessories we have Screenshot, Home Folder, Calculator, Backups. Um, is that Deja? Yep, so you get Deja up for your backups, which you can back up over sort of network folders or you know things like that so let's just minimize that so it also comes with time shift which is another sort of what it will do is take sort of like a snapshot of your system so you could go to next um, we'll leave that running at the moment I can see a bit of screen tearing at the moment so we'll probably have to have a look at that so um, we want not all of these things what's I think it's just this one here we don't want that so we'll just go to next um, just go to weekly um, I'm just going to show you I'm going to uninstall this afterwards anyway but um, blah 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 next yeah let's do that so let's go to create and let's just create a first snapshot All right let's leave that doing that right so I'm going to type in light because there's quite a few things here that I think are quite specific to them. So you've got light auto login, light desktop, light info, light network shares, light software, light sounds, light sources, light system reports, light tweaks, lights update notify, light user manager, light welcome. Uh, we'll have a look at the light welcome screen. So start here, install updates, install drivers, set a restore point. I think that's what we've just done there. Once you've installed in it's light, and before you can begin using it, it's strongly recommended that you first complete the three steps listed below um, yeah there you go so that's almost done now with that one right so that's done that was an rsync one apparently so as you can see it's based on Ubuntu 18.04 Bionic so you know apt and everything else will work as you would expect let's jump into their software store light software let's have a look at this any moment now uh, would you like to update software sources now yes all right it's just going to grab some updates shouldn't be anything there really I was just updating the software sources here we go so let's click install software and see what that is like there we are so it's uh, like a list with some sort of featured applications I suppose that they want you to do back to task selector there and a the button for install as well so here it includes a few things you've got audacity chromium dropbox uh, Gini, spotify steam virtualbox let's let's install a few packages this way can you select more than one yes you can so let's go steam virtualbox uh, is that open shot yeah that's open shot you've got wine there for windows applications to run let's grab that as well um, play on Linux as well, another sort of thing to help you game, play Windows games and stuff like that. Let's grab that as well. Actually, no, let's not grab that. Um, music Player, Kodi, FileZilla, File Transfer for FTPs. Um, yeah, okay. Let's click Install and then we'll see how it will handle all of that. So we're installing Steam, VirtualBox and Wine. We want to proceed. Right, let's leave that doing that. Um, what I spoke about earlier was the DocBarX. So I've installed DocBarX using this PPA here which allows us to sort of just have the icon like the picture of the icons and you can minimize and maximize from there so what we're going to do is go to panel panel preferences go to items boo, 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 windows buttons we're going to remove those and then we're going to go to the add button 
a lot of the time I always press this plus and it just makes another panel and then I have to delete it. Right, we want dock bar X. Oh, that's jumped in the way. Okay, I haven't sort of edited this or anything yet, dock bar X, so it's going to be the sort of default look. So let's close that now. Let's move that. So dock bar X is here. Let's move it to there. And then what I'm going to do is remove these sort of launchers because it sort of clashes with dot bar x it looks like they sort of go in with each <coughs> sorry like they go in with each other so let's remove all of these launchers there it is and get rid of that remove installation has completed right let's quit that so is that done that yep so let's close that so it's sort of it's got it but it's sort of not the way I quite like it to look so how do we so if we go into panel preferences, can you add it in edit it in this way? I can't remember. You might have to go into the actual application. Where's dot bar X? There it is. Um solid colour, blah 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 blah. No, so let's go into dot bar X preferences and see if we can get it a bit different looking. So theme glassified, let's try mouse four. Has that done anything? I'm not too sure. Let's go to magic transparency. I'm not sure if it's doing anything. Um, I'm not too sure at the moment. Let's try Mouse Neo. No, nothing's changing. Perhaps I'll need to do a sort of a reboot in a moment, let everything sort of take effect. Ah, there we go. Done. Right, I'm going to leave it like that. So there we go. That's how I'm going to do it. So you can sort of minimise, maximise from there instead of having sort of, you know, the window title and everything else. It's just a bit easier. So you can pin your application. So let's sort of pin a few things. So Firefox, is that pinned? No, so then you can pin an application or you could sort of make a custom launcher if you wanted to use your own icon or something like that. So that's sort of why I'll use dot it just makes it a bit nicer to use XFCE without sort of changing too much. So now that we've installed some programs, let's open Steam and let that do its little update in the back. I quite like that Steam icon. Let's open appearances and see what theming we're using. So we're using the adapter in style here and the icons is Papyrus Adapter. Out of the box it comes with yeah, a fair few there. So you've got all the XFCE stuff, Industrial, Greybird, Clear Looks. Let's um, go into the Windows Manager Tweaks. Nope, wrong one. We want Windows Manager. And then let's change the style here to Clear Looks and see how that looks. Oh, Clear Looks isn't there. All right, let's go for Greybird. Um, Greybird. How's that look? Oh, yeah, that's not too bad. Right, I'm going to leave it on Greybird for now. Um, I'll probably I'll quickly install the um, Arc theme. Steam's just on the other screen there, updating. Actually, I'm going to get mocker icons as well. Right, let that do that. So, what are our keyboard shortcuts? Keyboard. Application shortcuts. Um, now I want the other one. Where's Windows Manager again? Here we go. Keyboard. So Alt Tab. That all works as it should. So that's your Alt Tabber. Let's minimise that again. Right. And what have we got up? Down. Blah blah blah. Where's Workspaces or Windows or Virtual? There we go. Workspace. Move to left. So I haven't got any selected there. So let's just move Window to left. Workspace. We'll do Control Alt Left. And we'll use, we'll keep, no, we'll use. Control Alt Right, and then we will use. So then let's go to Move to Workspace on the left. Move Window to, where's Move to? Um, tile, so we'll use the Super key for that, but I'll probably have to disable this button here for that to work properly. So let's keep going. There we go, left Workspace, right Workspace. So Control Left, Control Right. So now, you can switch workspaces like that and then we could move windows to and from perfect that's sort of the default keyboard shortcuts i use on pretty much everything apart from gnome because obviously it's up and down on the workspace so i'll do control up and control down right i think that's that done let's see what ram we're using at the moment so we're using 1.87 out of 31 point four well, 32 gig i'm going to do a reboot in a moment and see how much we're using sort of out of you know at boot we've installed steam we've installed htalk we've installed obs and perhaps 
one or two more things which will you know affect how much it gets but we'll see how much we do so i'm going to reboot it now and we're going to get a ram reading and just sort of finish off on anything we've not had a look at in this light section anything that's worth having a look at and then we'll, uh, we'll wrap okay, it up. Okay, so we're using 616 megabytes of RAM from a straight reboot. Um, we have installed a few extra programs, though, so it'll probably be a bit lower without doing that. So let's close that now and just have a quick look at what comes installed in this light section, and then we'll wrap up the video. So Linux, uh, light welcome, so that'll be the welcome screen. Light auto login, so that'll be to disable or enable auto login. Quite an easy way. Yes or no, very easy. Right, let's keep going. Um, light network shares, so this is how you would set up sort of network shares, I guess, folders and things like that. Sam, um, Samba shares and things. Let's go to, there we go, Samba is the software, reload configuration, um, edit share settings, and it will just open up the SMB comp file for you there, in which you can edit the settings there. Um, yeah, I guess if you need a box like that for it to do, it's fairly straightforward. Let's just close that. Configuration has been loaded, blah, blah, blah. Right, let's keep going. So light sources, let us say you can change the repositories. Let's have a look at how they do that. Loading light repositories. There you go. So you can switch to sort of which mirrors you want and things like that. You selected, check repository status, press any key to continue, check a mirror status. 100%. Just keep having a look while it's doing that. So we have light tweaks there as well that we have another look at light system report. We've had a look at light software where you install your packages. So let's open up, not too worried about light sounds, let's open up light system report. Light system report is an analysis and report generator tool for Linux Lite. It generates HTML reports on your system's hardware and software. Please click quit or continue. Let's go to continue. Let's just go into this background for a second here. There you go, that's done that. Click quit. Right, let's type in a password for this one. Right, untick options you would not want to include. Um, let's do it all. Let's get a report of everything. Let's see how, what that does. Collecting graphics chip, hard drive. Right, while it's doing that, let's see what else we've got. So light tweaks as well we can have a look at. So here's our system report here. So it'll give you sort of a detailed sort of report of everything that's there I guess um, USB information network installed software information huh, that's pretty handy alright let's close that one let's have a look at light tweaks now okay select the task you wish to perform then click the button to begin sort by clicking on the columns header grade so you've got safe and a caution so where's these safe and things like that there we go so the gradings here so you can sort of get all the safe ones and then order it by sort of caution as well. So what do they have as caution? Boot up fix, host name, kernel installer, locate large files, default web browser, Firefox cache to so clean your cache, uh, whisker menu, clean the menu. Yeah, that's pretty handy as well. Right, let's. Um, I don't think I need to do it. Let's do, let's do let's clean the Firefox cache just while we're here. Let's go to begin. Firefox browser clash kid. Very easy. Right, let's quit that. And just see if there's anything else left in the light section for us to have a look at. Right, so we've got that's not that one. Light welcome, we've done light user manager. So that's here you can manage your users. Huh. So they have their own little ma um, user manager as well. Here we are with our user ID, which is 100. Here's your groups and your group IDs there. Vbox users groups there. Oh. Right, let's just leave that as that. Let's keep going. Light upgrade, we'll have a quick look at as well. You were already running the late. Oh, there we go. So, we're already running. So, if you wanted to sort of check that, I guess it would sort of do a check and then update it or something like that. Yeah, not too bad actually. Um, as I said, we've installed VirtualBox ourselves. Comes with XFCE, comes with partition disks. Which one is this? So, it comes with Gparted as well if you want to partition your disks. Not bad. Right, let's move that over there. Let's uh, just sort of move that back there. But yeah, nice. No, quite snappy as well i'm going to end the video okay, that was linux light 4.8 thank you for watching if you've enjoyed this video please subscribe and i'll see you on the next one Bye bye